Most of us have gotten used to seeing shots that look like this in our Zoom meetings, but we don't have to look this way. Today I'm going to show you how to use your iPhone as a webcam for online meetings. Last year a lot more people started working from home and had to get used to spending more time on video calls. And now that we've been doing it for a while, you may be looking for ways to improve your online presence, at least visually. Brian Cooley has a great video on some basic do's and don'ts for setting up your webcam shot, including camera placement, so be sure to check that out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. But today I want to focus on replacing your current webcam with one of these. Your iPhone has a way better camera, or cameras, than the one built into your laptop screen, and there are several apps out there that let you use your iPhone as a webcam for video calls on platforms like Zoom, Teams, or Skype. It's probably not super convenient to use your everyday iPhone, so if you have an older phone laying around, all the better. I'm using the iPhone 12 that was the victim of one of our drop test videos. The body is cracked, but the camera works just fine. I'm going to show you a couple different app options. One that lets you use your iPhone plugged into your computer, and one that lets you connect wirelessly. The first one's called Camo, and is from a company called Reincubate. You'll need to download the software on both your iPhone and on your computer. It's compatible with both Mac OS and Windows, and there's also an Android version if you want to go that route. Download Camo from the App Store and open it. You'll be asked to grant access to your camera and microphone. Go ahead and select OK, since that's the whole point, right? Next, you'll be reminded you need to download and run Camo Studio on your computer, and you'll see a handy button to share that link with yourself. When that's open, connect your phone to your computer with a cable and get started. Once you have your phone connected, Camo will show you a preview of your shot and all the tools available to enhance it. Right away you should notice a big improvement from your old webcam. From here, you can go to your video chat software of choice, I'll pick Zoom, and select the Camo camera as my video input. You can also use the iPhone's microphone as your audio input, or switch to something else if you prefer. Now if you want to use camo at this most basic level, and you don't mind this watermark at the corner of your screen, then you're all set. You can stop this video right now. No, 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 please don't do that. We need the watch time. Now if you look back in Camo Studio, you'll see there are a ton of other features that can be unlocked by upgrading to the Pro version for $4.99 a month or $39.99 for a 12-month subscription. If you do that, you can open up options for using portrait mode, using the wide-angle lens if you have one, and full 1080p video. You can turn off the camo watermark, or use one of your own, and rotate and zoom your shot as needed. You'll have full control of your light and image adjustments to fine-tune your image, and even use your phone's flash as an extra light. And all these features translate over to whatever compatible video call platform you're using, and camo supports just about any you can think of. And you can still use whatever virtual backgrounds and wacky video filters that you like. If you don't want to be tethered to your computer with a cable, a good wireless option is Epoch Cam from Elgato. It's available from the App Store, and again, should work with most standard web meeting apps like Zoom or Microsoft Teams. Once you download the Epoch Cam webcam app and tap Begin, you'll be prompted to install a driver on your computer, either Mac OS or Windows. AirDrop makes it really easy to share the installer with your Mac, or you can email the link to yourself. Next, the app lets you know you may connect via USB cable or wirelessly, which we'll do here. Now give Epoch Cam permission to use the camera and the network, and tap Done. And that's all there is to it, at least at a basic level. The next time you open Zoom or Teams or whatever, you should see Epoch Cam in your list of video sources. But when you do, you'll see the image quality isn't very good. The free version only supports 640x480 video, which is probably a downgrade from what you have right now. You do have the choice to mirror the video, or swap between the back camera, and a selfie camera, but that's really about it as far as features go in the free version. To get the most out of Epoch Cam, you'll want to upgrade to the Pro version for a one-time charge of $7.99. This will unlock options like full 1080p video, wide-angle camera support, it removes that pesky watermark at the bottom, you get manual focus, and use of the phone's flashlight. There's also a green screen feature to help with those virtual backgrounds everyone loves so much, but I don't think it actually works very well. The main thing Epoch Cam has going for it, both the free and the pro version, is that wireless connection to your computer, so you can move the camera around if need be. Of course, you do have the option to plug it in as well, which will help your battery life. Personally, I'm not that concerned with going wireless with my webcam, and I like having the interface on my computer to make adjustments, so I'm probably going to stick with Camo myself. But if you need to move around, Epoch Cam is going to be better for you. 
And at eight bucks, it's a lot cheaper than $40 a year for camo. And who doesn't like to save money? Besides me, apparently. Finally, once you pick your software, you're gonna to have to figure out a way to mount your phone. As Brian mentioned in his video, you wanna get your camera up to around eye level, so you're not looking down on it like so many people you see in your meetings. I'm using this little selfie stick slash tripod that came with my DJI Osmo camera and a phone holder, but there are all kinds of options out there for all kinds of setups. In fact, the Reincubate website has a great guide to different phone mounts they tried when using camo that would really apply to any phone software you choose. Check the description for a link to that page, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any other suggestions for webcam apps or phone mounting solutions, let us know in the comments. Good luck with your fancy new webcam. And don't forget, people are going to be able to see you a lot better than they could before. So don't forget to brush your teeth.